Thad Roberts, a prominent religious broadcaster who transformed a small Virginia station into the influential Christian Broadcasting Network, passed away at the age of 93. His death was confirmed by his broadcasting network, although no cause was provided. Throughout his career, Robertson established various enterprises, including Regent University, an evangelical Christian school in Virginia Beach. The American Center for Law and Justice, which advocated for the First Amendment rights of religious individuals, and Operation Blessing, an international humanitarian organization. Robertson became a well-known figure in American households for over five decades through his television show. The Seven Under Club. In later years, he gained attention for his televised statements proclaiming God's judgment and attributing natural disasters to various factors, such as homosexuality and the teaching of evolution. His influence and financial support grew as he solicited donations, and he amassed a significant following when he ventured into politics by seeking the Republican Party's presidential nomination in 1988. Robertson adopted a pioneering strategy of courting Iowa's network of evangelical Christian churches, which propelled him to second place in the Iowa caucuses, surpassing Vice President George H.W. Bush. One of Robertson's remarkable tactics was to demand 3 million followers across the United States to sign petitions before he would make a decision about running for president. His endorsement of Bush ultimately contributed to the latter's presidential victory. This approach garnered him a formidable base of supporters. Pursuing Iowa's evangelical voters has since become a customary practice for Republican candidates, including those vying for the White House in 2024. In 1989, Robertson founded the Christian Coalition in Chesapeake, stating that it would advance the ideals of his campaign. The coalition emerged as a significant political force in the 1990s, mobilizing conservative voters through grassroots activities. By the time he stepped down as the coalition's president in 2001, citing a desire to focus on ministerial work, Robertson had left an enormous impact on religion and politics in the United States, according to John C. Robertson's influence extended beyond broadcasting and politics. Green, a political science professor at the University of Akron. Born on March 22, 1930, in Lexington, Virginia, to Absalom Willis Robertson and Gladys Churchill Robertson, he hails from a family with a political background. Senator from Virginia for 36 years. Representative in the U.S. His father served as a U.S. After graduating from Washington and Lee University, Robertson served as an assistant adjutant in the 1st Marine Division during the Korean War. Although he obtained a law degree from Yale University Law School, he did not pursue a career in law after failing the bar exam. At Yale, Robertson met his wife, Adalia G. Yelmer, who was a Catholic earning a master's in nursing while he identified as a Southern Baptist. Despite familial disapproval, they eloped and subsequently embarked on a religious journey. Robertson's spiritual transformation surprised Judy, as he abandoned his interest in politics and embarked on a path of religious devotion. Inspired by what he believed was a divine message, he sold his possessions and moved with his family to a commune in New York City's Bedford-Stuyvesant neighborhood, where he ministered to the poor. Judy considered leaving, but she remained committed to their shared path. In 1959, Robertson earned a Master's in Divinity from New York Theological Seminary and later relocated with his family to Virginia to purchase a bankrupt UHF television station in Portsmouth. With just $70 in his pocket, he managed to secure investors and launch the Christian Broadcasting Network on October 1, 1961. Operating as a tax-exempt religious non-profit, CBN accumulated hundreds of millions of dollars, disclosing $321 million in ministry support. In 